What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're actually gonna be doing a couple errands. It's actually being spread out between a couple days. So this video is gonna be in a couple days. So if you guys are like, oh, how come the car looks like this? And then, you know, the next day it has a lot more things wrapped. It's because this video is actually taking, I'm making this video in between all my other videos. Um, mainly because um, I'm trying to get things done for it. So right now I'm about to go do the alignment. After I do the alignment, I, the headlight and brake and smog place is gonna be closed. Is a headlight and brake place open tomorrow? And then the smog place is gonna be open on Monday. So I'm pretty much doing one thing every single day. So this car is gonna be spaced out. But once I get all this stuff done, I'm, I'll be able to get a moving permit for two months, which means I'm able to bring a Beamer Fest and everything, which is great. I did just get the car insured, and my rates are at 180 for 180 a month for full coverage. <laughs> After realizing how much it costs to put this front end together, I realized that liability is just very stupid. Um, even if it's my fault in an accident, and I, I'll just fix it myself. Seven grand in parts, you know, that's almost how much I paid is just ridiculous. I mean, I, the total cost of me repairing everything on this car was nearly, I'll talk about that in another video, um, but there was, it is it is a lot. Seven grand is a little bit higher than what I paid, but it is a lot. So I figured, you know what, 180, 180, that's for uh, considering this car is a pleasure car, it's considering that this car is a weekend car, so that means I can put like four to 5,000 miles on it a year. Um, that's all according to paper, so whatever. That's not too shabby, to be honest, 180. Um, at least I have that peace of mind, whether it's my fault, somebody else's fault, my car will be taken care of, which is the main deal. So anyways, go ahead, start her up, let her out for a little bit, and head over to the alignment. The alignment's about 20, 25 minutes away, and the alignment on this car is pretty bad, so let's hopefully we'll make it down there, and then uh, get this thing all set up perfectly so it'll drive perfect. <laughs> Alright guys, this is a startup on a 2008 BMW M3. I'm doing the exact same thing Stratman does. If you guys watch him, shout out to him. So we're gonna go to Walmart, my friend's place, uh, and then go to the post office, and then go to alignment. So we got a lot of things to do today, boys. Alright guys, so, um, it is a beautiful morning. And uh, your boy already stopped. <laughs> I can't vlog and record. I tried looking cool there. Let me try to see if I can do it again. Hold up, hold up. I think I can do it, hold up. All right, all right, your boy did it. All right, well I have to shift, so uh, I'll have to catch you guys later. Um, I need to actually get a GoPro so you guys can actually experience the drive with me from here on out. Um, it is already in a really it's a really jerky drive. But yeah, guys, I'll catch y'all when I'm actually at one of the locations. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's all those cops in front of me. Do you see all that? Hold up. Yeah, this is like a cop meeting. Do you guys see them all? Hold up. Like right in front of me, I just pulled out, and I think they all pulled up in front of me, so we're gonna have to see what's going on here. I obviously have no plates or anything, so if I get pulled over, uh, I got y'all some footage. All right, guys, it's gonna be kind of risky. I'm gonna go ahead and drive right by the cops. <laughs> see how this stuff works out. Got insurance on my phone, I got the one day moving permit. Dude, I, I drove right by them and they looked at the car and they're just like, screw them. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they don't come after me, I don't know. Or maybe they are coming after me. Oh, I think they're getting in the cars. All right, guys, I might have some content for you. <laughs> They're coming, hold up. I'm gonna set you guys down. Catch you on a second. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about, boys. We out here rolling. I'm about to lose a wheel, I can feel it. Luckily, your boy got full coverage. All right, so far, first stop, the post office. Worked out pretty well, so uh, let's go in there real quick. All right, so we just got done with the post office. Let's go ahead and go down to uh, the alignment place. This car really needs an alignment. I feel like once the alignment is done, the car is gonna feel great, but as of now, it feels like garbage. So I'm really gonna take it easy, and I'm really gonna watch out, and make sure everything's good. So I'll catch you guys when I'm actually uh, there, because I don't want to crash the car. I just finished rebuilding. You know what I'm saying? What is going on over here? Ah oh, man, I'm sorry about the quality, guys, but I'm already. Oh damn, boys. Oh my. If y'all saw that, and I'm sorry about the the, I can't really change the. This is that's the thing that sucks about driving a man. You can't really play with the camera much. 
But yeah, that accident was insane. Literally T-bone them in the middle of the highway. Three car accident. I'm over here worrying about my own car, and there's already people getting car accidents. I'm like, oh boy, man, this is ain't, this is freaking me out. Anyways, we're about five minutes out, and we're almost there. The stupid uh, alignment place. I probably could have got one in my area, but the ones in my area were like 140, and the one in Sac is 70 bucks. And I'm like, you know, I saved myself 80 dollars. I could use that towards a lot of other things. So, like headlight and breaker smog. Why would I just waste it for being local? And I just got the gas light. I'm getting all kinds of lights. I just got also a brake light. I think my brake sensor came out. You know, just normal shit. Uh, we got to figure out here. That's all right. It's a good thing to drive in it. We're figuring out if it's uh, ready for Beamer Fest in about a month. We're going to try to get this thing ready. The next day. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to like day two or three. So today, guys, we're going to be heading out. Uh, I got to do a few errands in the M3 to run it. I got to just basically, you know, get the miles going, get the engine warmed up before smog. And then uh, basically after that, I'm going to head over, do brake and light and break and light and do smog today. So hopefully it passes both of those. If it does both of those, I'm going to head over to the DMV. Um, to be like a three hour wait, but what you gonna do four hour wait at least try to get the moving permit on this car Once you got a moving permit, we are certified to go down to Beamer Fest, which I'm gonna be super stoked on I can't get the plates just yet because I got a CHP appointment in July So that's a very long time, which is retarded But unless I get a moving permit which allows me to drive until CHP So that's good enough for now. I guess no plates means better picks anyway So at this point, I'm gonna start up the car let it warm up and then I'm gonna have Mohammed record a little bit of the drive for me because uh, you guys weren't able to see me actually drive or see the car at all because I can't drive a stick while recording, it's kind of hard. In the meantime, let's go ahead and pop in a logo. I got one in the mail today, so uh, <laughs> I also got the little clips to hold them down. So let's go ahead and mount the stupid logo now. I know you guys wanted the OEM, so we go with OEM. So before, after. So yeah, boys, that's looking so much better. The car really looks like it's coming together. <laughs> I keep recording it from the front end, but you know, we got the rest of the car. It's nowhere near complete. Um, spaces look really good right now, so the fitment's looking really good. Just need to get bigger tires. I know some of you guys are saying just get better wheels. Guys, all down the road, we'll paint the car, we'll get better wheels. Well, this car is something I'm keeping long term, so don't worry, we'll be upgrading a whole bunch of stuff. It's nowhere near complete. You can even see the rear bumper still needs a lot of work, so uh, all in the time coming. All right, guys, I actually almost forgot. I was about to head out. Um, that headlight has no halos right now. That one has yellow halos. So let's go ahead and upgrade both those halos to white. These are the ones I got from Burger Tuning. So let's see how bright they are. They're really cheap. So uh, hopefully they look pretty decent. I mean, they are from Burger Tuning. So I'm expecting to at least last a little bit longer than the ones from eBay and stuff. I'm not saying that Burger Tuning is, you know, a cheaper brand. But what I'm trying to say is, because uh, actually, no, they have quality parts. What I'm trying to say is, is that um, these bulbs are really cheap, like $20 cheap. So $20 is really cheap. So it kind of makes you think, like, are they going to last long? So let's see. I mean, I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and slap them on and see how they look. I guess at this point, I'm going to see how bright these things are. Remember, this is not turned up at the highest setting. This is going to be on OEM setting. I will turn up the highest setting down the road. Uh, but as of now, I'm just going to make sure they last. And I want to do my braking light. I don't know about you guys, but those actually look really good. Obviously, I'll have to clean out these headlights. But, I mean, considering it's $20, they look pretty good. And these aren't even at the highest setting. So... That looks awesome. So does the other one. Uh, we're gonna be cleaning up these headlights before Beamer Fest, so don't worry, guys. But yeah, I'm I'm super digging it. Hopefully these last all the way to the headlight and break, and hopefully they'll last all the way to Beamer Fest because for the price, you just can't beat them. I don't know if you guys have seen me, but uh, basically, we got ourselves also a burger tuning mount. <laughs> uh, I actually went ahead and purchased these bulbs. They're not sponsored, and I purchased the this thing it's not sponsored uh, mainly because I've got it they sponsored it before on my 335 and it was just such good quality so I decided to buy it again and I'm gonna mount it right here so I'll show you guys how it looks it looks super dope and especially when I'm shifting I don't know my face is not even showing up when I'm shifting I can't really put my phone right here because when I put my phone right here I can't even see like if it's in uh, third or fifth or first I can't see the navigation so I was like you know I'm just gonna mount it up here like on my 335 so let's do it So let's go ahead and just pick up Muhammad real quick. Um, and then we'll come back because it looks like my friend isn't here yet. So, all right, we should be able to get out now.
Saying I'm low on gas, nothing new for a S65, am I right? I'm gonna back it out, let's go pick up Muhammad. And then after pick up Muhammad, we're gonna come back here. Uh, just wait for our line, he's actually coming over to give me a reverse light bulb because my reverse light bulb isn't coming in for a long time. And I told you guys how much that thing costs and it's just ridiculous, so uh, let's just go pick up Muhammad real quick. this warm up for about half an hour. So I think I'm a pretty decent driver right now. Guys, I really need to get a GoPro or something. This is really bad. I can't wait for uh, my boy to come in here and help me out with the whole recording situation. Uh, I'm going to let uh, Mohammed know that I'm here. You guys probably noticed it was a short drive. <laughs> Let's just say my boy Mohammed just bought a house that's literally uh, a woman to drive from my house. Like literally behind my house. It's kind of crazy. So uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna be making more videos together. But also, I need to put some AC because this car has no AC and it is stupid hot. I'm probably gonna pick up some AC today. And that's my boy Mohammed. Say hello! <laughs> this dude. Yeah. Um, let's just go back and see if Online is at my place now. And actually, it's, it's working. I'm fine. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and head over to Smog, so... Your boy can't afford gas, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing that many pulls. Is it this way uh, or the other way? Uh, Which way to the smog? You got to take the 99, so... Oh, 99? All right. All right, let's go, boys. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's a manual V8. It's so much fun, guys. Is it good? Yep. What happened? Nothing. I'm trying to show them the oh. finger box. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, so pretty much guys, um, as you can see the alignment is straight. And I have the oil I have the oil uh, gauge on right now, which is cool. It actually shows you the oil gauge. Um, and then you know that will just help me know if I'm if my oil is leaking too fast or too slow or whatever. I mean, I have two gears, but it's too slow. But if it's too fast, I gotta put over and just top it off with some more oil. And has a small leak from one of the screws, so I got when I get the rod bearings done, all that stuff's gonna get fixed. Uh, but other than that, drives like a dream. Um, so yeah, let's go over and head over to Smog real quick. Heard there's a twenty dollars Smog, so you know your boys are gonna go hit it up. Guys, there's a line for the smog, but the reason why there's a line is because it's only 20 bucks, so <laughs> you can't beat that. Let's go ahead and wait for our turn. Huh? Gonna go fast? Alright then, let's do it. Let's just wait. So you guys got it. We passed the smog. That's perfect. Let's go do a headlight break. We passed that. We going down to Beamer Fest, boys. So we are back home. It's a little bit late. Basically, the car did not pass, uh, as you guys saw, not smog, it passed smog. 
unfortunately, uh, because if it doesn't pass smog, that's kind of a bigger issue. It didn't pass basically lamp inspection. And uh, basically, thank goodness he didn't charge me. He just went ahead and uh, told me to just do a few of the lights. And uh, he's like, yo, you know what? Your tail lights are not working. Um, they are working, but when I put the car in reverse, my brake lamp turns on. And when I put the car, if I try to go on the brake, my reverse light comes on. So it looks like something to do with the harness that I purchased. I think the harness wasn't, you know, pinned correctly. So I'm gonna be borrowing Erlan's harness. I'm gonna check the pins that, you know, are going from where to where, and then I will rewire my pins, and hopefully mine should work properly. Uh, I think that's my only issue. Maybe it could be a coating issue, but I really doubt it because all the lights work. It's just not working. Like, I would get half the tail light working when I click on the brake, and then the other half work when I'm uh, putting in reverse. So clearly it's just not wired correctly. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and fix that hopefully in the next couple videos. And of course, in the next couple videos, we'll hopefully get the car fully wrapped. We just got we just got the last body work we need to do is the rear bumper, and the rest of the car can get wrapped. And then after the full beam of the car gets wrapped, it's mostly gonna just be aesthetic things, working on the tire fitment, working on everything, um, you know, swapping out the dash to the CCC, just making it the best that it could be, um, getting it ready for Beamer Fest and then hopefully we got some future plans for this, tracking it, all kinds of good stuff. And don't forget guys, once we get 50K subscribers, I'll be starting a new build and it's a giveaway build. So once we get 50K subscribers, I'll be purchasing an E90, E92, a Z4, a Z3, something crazy for the channel, rebuild it and give it to one of you guys. So if you guys are new to BMWs, you guys don't have a BMW, you guys are young, haven't even purchased one, make sure to subscribe. And if you're subscribed, there's a good chance you can win. So yeah, when we hit 50K subscribers, if you guys wanna support the channel, First link in the description as well. But without further ado, guys, love you all so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.